Hey everybody, Steve here with White Knuckle Off-Road Adventures. Uh, doing the rear lift install on a 2019 Player Sportsman 850 HOSP. And I thought I had turned the camera on. I accidentally turned it off. So just gonna do kind of a quick rundown of what I had to do first. Um, if you remember on the front, the two lower shock bolts will end up going up here in the middle of this lift. But uh, first thing, Disconnect the sway bar. Just kind of get it pulled up out of your way a little bit. You can just leave these links off to the side, whatever you want to do with them. This bolt right here with the end links on it. Like this and this. And get that in there. And this spacer are going to be your new... Oops. That didn't work out very well, did it? Anyway, we'll get that back on that back in place kind of get it there and get that back on that is a 17 millimeter the new bolt and we can get put we can get these bolts put back in they're once you got everything loose and out of your way it's not a big deal to just take those off put them back in let's get this other one back on real quick so it's when you're Rubbers here, rubber there, and your spacer. Blink. And we'll get the, we'll get those tightened back up in a few minutes. And just so you can kind of see, <clears throat> this kit comes with two different thicknesses of brackets and right inside here this this shock bolt on the muffler side is a little hard to get to so all you have to do is take your heat shield right here and just kind of bend it up with your finger once you do that you can get a wrench on the back side of that and take it out so if you can see this is your shock bracket your original one that's your original bolt hole right there these plates, like I say, they're two different thicknesses. So the thinner one goes on the inside of this back bracket right here. And then you put a spacer in it and a nut and a washer on the other side. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, this thicker bracket goes on the outside. So you can see that one on the inside, this one's on the outside. Then your two factory shock bolts, they go right there. There's two holes supplied all through there and two more spacers you put them in and you can put the nuts on now to put the nuts on <clears throat> sorry i found the easiest side <clears throat> is to come from over here on the left side of the bike if you're sitting on it and you can reach your hand right up in there and you can see those spacers right up in there and they're not too bad to get on uh, your clutch intake covers right here. It can sometimes cause a little bit of an issue with that bolt right there. It's really close to it. So you just got to kind of push it up and get your bolt put in. Get your nut put in on the other side. Once you get those things in there, um, you can put this nut on just to kind of help hold everything in place. And when you install these two brackets, put this one in, put your spacer on put this on, put this outside nut on, on this side, and then go over and do it on the other side on the outside. Once you get the two outside ones on with a nut on them, then you can slip those two inner bolts, sorry, right there, up in there. I wish you guys, I wish I'd had this running when I did it. Um, it's not real hard to do. Like I say, if you drop these sway bar end links out first, that lets the bike come down, get the shock bolts out, Move the shocks off to the side or just let them fall inside of here. They're not a big deal. You just leave all this stuff loose for now. So we'll go ahead and mount the shock bolts up now. And that shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. We've also got this same exact lift on our other 2019. Mine, this is my buddy Pop Moses' bike belongs to him. And uh, these are the 850 SPs with the arch arms and all that good stuff on them. 
and they're really nice bikes. So once you get this shock mount back up in place, I just stick my leg underneath it, kind of bring it up. It's not terrible. Once you get your leg there, and get that in, and uh, get that on there, and get your nut started. And go over and do the same thing on this side. So we'll get this one put in. Your old shock bolts, you just leave them out. You don't need them again. Same thing, just kind of get that up where you can. If you disconnect that sway bar uh, first, it makes this a lot easier. To do now this one's still a little tricky to get to it's a little bit tight back here but uh, you can get your fingers in there getting this bolt started is a little bit of a pain in the butt though Those are on. You've got your shocks, kind of just let them droop down. I believe these are 15s. Let's see what size they are. The I think the center bolts are 15s. And or, yeah. Yeah, the center bolts are 15s and so are the, the nuts. So I get those tightened up first. takes a little bit of persuasion to get that thing in place. And then, like I say, these are 17s. And it's a 16 millimeter wrench that I used earlier. Um, put it in. them and your shock bolts you won't use those again so you should have four bolts and two nuts left over if you did it right and uh, we'll have to jack this up now when I have this bike sitting right here 
it would uh, allow me to put the tires off of it with no problem. I put my foot underneath it. But now, jack it up a little bit higher in order to get these uh, tires back on, which is, you know, what the whole purpose of it was, is to get it up in the air a little bit better. I'm going to throw this tire on. So I'll do another video, and this is, is out of Canada. I don't know if I told you guys on that when I did the front for you. And the quality of it seems to be really nice. I really like it. It uh, might be a little bit more entailed than putting the high lifter lift in. The only thing I like about the high lifter lift more than I do this lift is the sway bar end links. The high lifter sway bar end links are one piece and this one is a spacer. Now the rest of the lift, I think this lift is a lot better. Uh, the front shocks, if you watch that video, they're one piece and not just two little tabs and the same with the back. It goes all the way across the back of the bike from one shot to the other instead of uh, just two little tabs out here. The high lifter just replaces this. It has two little tabs that stick out and that's the uh, whole part of the lift. I really don't like that. I like that this does go all the way across the back. And uh, seems like to me it would be a lot stronger that way. Less chance of bending it. It's going to put pressure on both plus you use those uh, center bolts to mount too so you really got this bracket really tight and secure and seems like it should hold pretty well so i've had mine in my other bike or my bike sorry not my other bike my bike for about three months or so issues, no drive line, uh, vibrations, uh, no problems with the axles on it, anything like that. But it's been really good. So I've got to torque everything back down and uh, that kind of stuff. But there we go. That's got. Uh, that all installed now. So, there we go. Um, it might be hard to tell. The front shocks, I turned them all the way back down. There's your front shock brackets. They're super easy to install. You don't got to move the brake line. You don't have to do anything. Uh, unbolt it. Put the two new bolts in with a spacer. And on the top shock, right in there goes a washer and then you uh, just tighten them down you put the bike back on the ground and tighten them after it's on the ground so I'll leave them snug but not super tight put it back down on the ground and uh, you'll be good to go but there it is it's a two inch bracket lift we measured my bike when we put it in and after we got the lift installed and got it all done and rode it around the block a couple times and parked it, I gained about a, just under two inches, an inch and seven eighths probably, or just a hair over that. So it worked pretty well. Um, I turned the front shocks all the way off and then just one click back up. And the back shocks are just two clicks up just because We've usually got a little more cargo on the back. He's got his bag off there right now, so and no fuel pack or anything. So once he gets that back on there and you're kind of ride more towards the back, that's why we leave the back springs or the back shocks turned up just a little bit more than the front. It seems to level out once you get everything loaded back on it. But uh, there it is, 2019 Sportsman 850 HO SP Premium. Uh, this belongs to my buddy Pablo, and... Uh, 
super happy to get this lift installed for him. He was over here all day and putting a new sink faucet and all that kind of crap in my house for me. So this is the least I could do for him. Really appreciate him. He's a good guy. Uh, if you guys got any questions or comments or whatever you want to know about it, if uh, I missed something, uh, let me know and I'll do my best to answer it as uh, best I can for you. And I uh, hope you like the video. Uh, thanks for everybody that subscribes and stuff like that. It's awesome. You guys and gals have a great day and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.